All right, so just a quick go-to guide on how to catch fish in a sea of moving ice or get treasure maps. Um, so basically, you will look around and you'll find uh, seagulls in the sky. When you see these seagulls, um, you'll see a circle right below them. This is a, the area with the best odds of getting fish and treasure maps. Obviously, you would have already needed to get your kayak and your fishing rod, which you get those normally at the as soon as you come into the Sea of Moving Ice, uh, which you get that quest in Bryn Shander. Um, but anyways, so back to the fishing. Um, as soon as we've gotten to a good fishing spot like this, um, to pull out your fishing pole, you'll basically hit R1, and that'll bring out your fishing pole and then you'll be able to cast with R2. Now you'll cast, you'll wait a minute, you'll see down in the middle down there where it says wait. <coughs> after uh, after just a little bit you will get a hook icon to the far left just like that and then you'll hit L2 and now you'll get these arrows and you'll want to hold whatever arrow down for as long as it stays active. Then it'll switch just like that. Now I'll hit triangle. Once you get a full bar, then you will hit up on your directional pad to land the fish. <coughs> now there's uh, five different levels of fish. Rank one is going to give you the least valuable uh, and no chance of getting a treasure map. For, well, actually, you won't get any level for a treasure map. But, um, Let's see, after we set the hook, this is a level one. So it's going to be obviously the easiest, and it's going to fill up the fastest. So we'll just hold square, land the fish, frozen far quipper garbage. That's worth, I think, five of those coins. R2 to cast again, and hopefully we'll get a treasure map here soon so I can show you what that looks like. see Mike over there in the distance. That's my fishing buddy. Um, so this is a level two fish. They're a little harder to land than the rank one. They'll switch arrows on you a little more frequent. It goes up to level five. Now um, when you get a level four fish, which it'll have a one and a V, one in front of the V, um, <coughs> There's an opportunity to get a blue fish. Well, you'll get a blue fish almost guaranteed, but some of these blue fish are guttable, um, which means you can go into your inventory, look at the fish, click on it, and it, it will give you an option to open it, just like you would a lockbox or anything else. Uh, when you open those, they're going to give you refinement items to um, restore your relic weapons. Oh, we got a rank three here. Um, so, uh, the fishing has kind of become a pretty important part of Neverwinter. <laughs> At least with the last uh, few events. But, um, but anyways, uh, now if you are lucky enough to get a treasure map, um, it won't have any color, or it won't have any level down in the, uh, where the symbols show the, uh, um, Roman numerals for what level of catch you're about to get, but it will, the bar that fills up will be grayed out, and all of the arrows will be highlighted. All you gotta do is hold down any arrow, and you'll just reel it right in. Um... Now, uh, I've already gotten a, a treasure map um, before I started the broadcast, so we'll show you how to do that as well. And actually, there's a few um, websites. Ooh, level four. <laughs> uh, it might seem a little boring, but after a little while of fishing, it gets pretty uh, pretty interesting. You'll find yourself doing that one last cast 
um, before leaving your fishing spot <laughs> after a while. But uh, oh, let's see what we got. Oh, an Arctic char. So I'm not sure if that's a guttable fish, so we'll go to our inventory. Hover over it. Nope. It is not a guttable fish, so we'll cast one more time. Now, after you've been fishing for a while, you'll have quite a collection of fish in your inventory, and obviously, with the inventory space, though kind of the way it is in this game, you don't want to keep that in your inventory, so you'll go right back to the beginning of the level um, where you come in, and up on top of the hill, and I'll show you here uh, shortly, um, you can sell those fish for um, a certain currency. Yeah, another currency in Neverwinter. There's several more currencies actually, but um, and you can use that to um, buy Everfrost resistance, um, or you can upgrade your fishing pole. Um, you'll start off with a white or uh, uncommon fishing rod, but uh, after a while of claiming these treasure chests, you can. Uh, in one of the chests will be a epic or purple fishing rod. I've been lucky enough to get that on my first chest, actually, but I know several people who've fished for days and not gotten any of those. But anyways, we'll cast one more time. Ooh, a level 5 fish. Let's reel her in. Now, these are a little much more harder to land than your 1s and 2s. They'll switch a lot, and seems like there is a lot less time um, to make mistakes. Ooh, lucky enough we got two back to back. Oh, triangle. Um. Oh. Land. A curry, sh a gurry shark. That's uh, the first time I've gotten that. Is it guttable? I don't think so. Nope. All right. So now, let's see. Uh, I'll show you where to turn these in. We'll pull up our map here. It's going to be right here, up on top of this hill. Elk Tribe Enclave. So we'll head there now. One way that I like to uh, kind of cheat and fast travel in this game is to just pull up on a big group of ads and kill myself. And then normally you'll spawn right back at the start, depending on if you've gone to another campsite or not. See, Mike's trying to race me over here. Not going to happen, son. He's got his mic muted right now. But yeah, I actually um, enjoy um, this new expansion. It's been one of my favorites in the game. Um, I actually just started fishing yesterday. I've been putting it off and finally came into here. And I, I really do like it a lot. Uh, the treasure hunting is pretty fun. Um... And uh, you actually get some pretty decent rewards out of there. Um, you can get um, the epic fishing rod, which is going to yield better catches when you are fishing. And also there is an epic kayak, which is the fastest of all the kayaks and it looks the cool, coolest out of all of them. Um, my buddy Reap, he got his Reaper. Um, he's got his already bastard but uh <coughs> but anyways yeah it's pretty pretty enjoyable area all right so now we're back at the very entrance of the level so you come up this hill right here and the elk tribe fishmonger we will talk to him or her and we will sell these fish for um currency a new currency not quite sure what it's called, but um, now there's only one place that I know of to spend this currency, and that's right down here with Regold, Reghead tribes folk. So we'll talk to them. And some of these items are going to be um, items you use to restore your brand new relic weapons. You can buy uh, Everfrost gear, um, or you can upgrade your fishing rod. 
Um, now to get this one, to get to be able to purchase this fishing rod um, and some of this equipment, which I don't have the ability to purchase right now, you got to be so far into your Sword King's Thunder campaign, which is at the top here. So um, basically, we'll have to be at this level here. Uh, supply the Elk Tribe, and looks like that's going to require 380 Bryn Shander reputation, which is going to require you to spend a decent amount of time in that campaign to unlock it. Um, now, one other thing about fishing is you have to have bait. So, we have a merchant here who sells bait. Uh, 10 silver for one. I normally buy a full stack of 99 at a time. It's going to cost you 10 gold. Not too bad considering the uh, rewards that you can get from it. Alright, so I guess the next thing is the treasure maps. So I've uh, gotten two treasure maps just recently, so we'll go to those. Um, they're going to become like this, the map in the bottle, in which you would open them. But I can't open them now because I've already opened one and I have a treasure map here. So we'll click use and it's going to show you an image. And if you've got a group of friends that you normally do this with, I would go ahead and hit the share button and um, send us, make a treasure hunting group chat and send this to everyone so everybody kind of learns more about the uh, treasures. Um, I happen to know for a fact that. Uh, this treasure is located on a downship at quadrants 55, I can't remember, 55. I use a uh, website, actually. Someone has uh, already taken the painstaking task of organizing these in, uh, in, a, in a decent uh, easy to use way um, www.ddmsrealm.com he's done a, a great job at that um, and so I just wanted to make sure he gets credit for my finding my treasure today and anyone who frequents our website um, the Doom Guild website www.doom.guildlaunch.com uh, the link to his website is going to be on our website underneath um, links. When you pull up our website, it's going to be under links. Click on there, and it will take you right to it. Um, but here it looks like the coordinates are 55, 11, 13, 21. So we'll pull up this mini-map. Um, and you have to hit the touchpad to be able to actually move. I'll move around 55... Looks like the first number is based off your lateral movement, and your right number is based off your vertical movement. 55.11 and 13.21, so we'll move up, 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 and it looks like it's going to be right in this area, so we'll go ahead and set that as our custom waypoint, and we'll head there. Um, now you can just I always like to shadow slip out in the water. Warlocks. Warlock for life. And now we'll sail there. Now the, um, some of these are harder to find than others. Um, the distinct look of the treasure when you're in the area is there will be a little pile of snow and that you'll click on it and it'll have the usual pixie dust. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? That was the weirdest thing ever. The wife just come out of the bedroom. Just kind of put her hand around the wall real slow.
But anyways, we'll um, sail to this location, and I'll show you where the first um, treasure map, treasure location is. Looks like I've gone the long way. What's for breakfast? the area, see what we can find. I've seen, I've found that uh, sometimes when they're on the ship, it'll just be a treasure chest, um, rather than one that you actually have to dig up. I think I see something on that far side over there. I hope it's not another one that I have to, yeah, but it looks like it might be. So we'll have to jump. down there f killing all the enemies for me. Yep, it's not up here. What a waste of time. Fucking A. Oh, there it is. Right there. So we'll dig it up and cross your fingers for me to get a purple mount. Or a purple um, kayak. Ba 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 f Ooh, turtle mount. Nice. Those are going for about 40,000 astral diamonds a piece right now. So, anyways, <coughs> uh, I'm Darko, and that is the basic to fishing, and this is Mike. <laughs> fishing in the Sea of Moving Ice, Neverwinter, mod 10.5. Um, uh, I guess like the video if you like the video, if not, fuck off. <laughs> Amen.